welcome to your Sarko CFR news. In your freight news articles for this week, Power Utility targets renewable energy users with new fees, SA meets with the EU to clear blocked citrus exports, and Transnet announces shortlisted port partners for Durban and Kura. For the full articles, please see the links down below. In your air freight trade brief for this week, on the export side, Airlink's fuel surcharge will increase to 4 Rand 45 from 19 August. Swiss World Cargo's air freight surcharge will decrease to $1.16 from 22 August. On the import side, we have a new import console, X New York, to Cape Town, with a day 7 departure on United Airlines with arrival on a day 1. Please contact one of our officers for more details. A reminder of the European summer holidays affecting some trucking services at the moment. As always, select global national holidays for the week can be found using the link down below. And for your ocean trade brief, starting off in the USA, vessels continue to be pushed off pro forma schedules, resulting in blank sailings. The continuous increase of import volumes has affected operations in almost all areas of the country. COVID-19, labor shortages, and strong demand continue to impact the global supply chain, resulting in extended lead times. And the chassis shortages experienced across the country remain. In the Benelux region, difficulties with shunting containers continue due to the congestion in, in the area alongside trucker shortages and barge shortages due to low water in the Rhine River. In the UK, RMT rail strikes will occur on the 18th and the 20th of August. Trucking capacity remains stable and has covered for the low rail capacity in the previous strike period. Dock workers at Felixstowe will strike for eight days from the 21st of August, with shipping lines planning to either significantly advance or delay vessel schedules. In Italy, strike action has been announced by one minor workers' union at the Spezia Container Terminal and will take place for 24-hour period on Saturday the 27th of August. And lastly, in the Asia-Pacific region, carrier capacity remains at a premium, with carrier scheduling changes, blank sailings, and port, and port emissions occurring on a regular basis. Most ports in the Far East continue to experience delayed vessel schedules. For the full ocean trade brief, please see the links down below. Thank you for watching Soccer CFR News. We'll see you again next week.